Hello there, friends. It's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and the Loopy Lamb.com. And we are back with another week of the Amigurumi Advent Calendar Crochet Along. Today, we're going to be making what I like to call the tiered top. And it is a fun little top that we're going to do some slight variations on where we place our stitches to create a kind of tiered look on the bottom of our top. So to follow along with today's tutorial, you're going to need two different colors of worsted weight yarn. I am using the colors Lady Slipper and Frisia from uh, we crochet's Bravo worsted weight line. You're going to need a three and a half millimeter or E crochet hook. You'll need a pair of scissors, a stitch marker, a tapestry needle, two nine millimeter buttons, and a coordinating sewing thread and sewing needle. So if you're ready to get started, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. Let me clear my workspace here and we'll get ready to get started on working on our little mini crochet top for our doll. To start on our tiered top, we're going to be using the darker of our two colors of yarn and we're going to create a slip knot and place it onto our hook. And now this top is worked from the neckline down to the hem. So we're going to, our foundation chain will essentially create the neckline for our top. So we're going to start with a chain 24. And to do that, we're going to yarn over and pull through the loop on our hook. And that's your first chain. And we're going to yarn over and pull through the next chain. And that's two. And we're going to keep doing that over and over again until we have 24 chains. So I have my 24 chains and I'm ready to start with row one. And now we're going to start working into the seventh chain from the hook, which means we're gonna to have to skip six chains. So the loop on our hook never counts. And we're going to start right here and count over six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm placing my finger here on the seventh chain and I'm going to insert my hook there and we're going to do a single crochet into that chain. So we're gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have two loops on your hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through two and that's your single crochet completed. Now you'll see that you have this little loop here from those skipped chains. That's exactly how it should look because this will become a buttonhole later on. So now we're gonna place one single crochet into each remaining chain across. So again, we're just inserting, pulling up a loop, yarn over and pulling through two. We're just repeating that all the way across. At the end of this round, you should have 18 single crochet stitches and that chain six space that we created at the beginning. So if you'd like to pause your video and come back to me when you're ready to start row two, I'll meet you back here for row two. So I just finished my last single crochet of row one and I'm ready to start with row two. To do that, we're going to have to chain up one. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through that loop and that's our chain one. And then I'm going to turn my work. And now we're ready to start with row two. To begin this row, we're going to single crochet into the first stitch and single crochet into the second stitch. And then we're going to place a single crochet increase into the next stitch. Now, when you're doing a single crochet increase, that means you're going to place two single crochet stitches into the same stitch. So we're going to work one single crochet, and then we're going to go back into that same stitch and work another single crochet, and that's your increase completed. So now there's a repeatable pattern for this row that you're going to work all the way across the row. And that's going to be, you're going to single crochet into the first and second stitch. And then you're going to place an increase into the next stitch. So again, that's two single crochets in the same stitch. And that is our pattern. We're gonna repeat across, single crochet in the first and second stitch. followed by a single crochet increase into the next. And I'll repeat that all the way across. At the end of this row, you should have 24 single crochet stitches. 
So we're at the end of row two, and I just want to point out that we're not going to be working into that chain six space. We are stopping at that last single crochet. So you can just ignore that chain six space and pretend it's not even there for now. We're ready to start with row three, and we're going to yarn over and chain up one and turn our work. And we're going to start this row by placing one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. And then we're going to single crochet increase into the next. So again, that's that two single crochets worked into the same stitch. And we're going to repeat this pattern across our row of single crochet once into the first three stitches followed by an increase, single crochet increase into the next. And again, we're repeating that pattern all the way across. And at the end of this row, you should have 30 single crochets. We are ready to start with row four. And in this ro row, we're going to create the chain spaces that will act as our armholes for our sleeves. So we're going to chain up one, and turn our work. And to start row four, we're going to place one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. And now we're going to do a chain seven. So we're gonna yarn over, pull through, there's one, And there's seven. And now we're going to skip the next eight single crochets. So we're going to count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to work into the next stitch. So we're going to single crochet into that next stitch. And we're going to place one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. And now we're going to create our second armhole. And to do that, we're going to do another chain seven. So we're going to yarn over, pull through, two, and there's seven. And we're going to skip another eight stitches. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to single crochet into that ninth stitch. And then we will place one single crochet into each of the remaining two stitches. At the end of this round, you should have 14 stitches and two chain seven spaces. So we're going to chain up one here and turn our work. And we're ready to start with row five. For row five, we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch and chain across. So I'll show you that by uh, what you need to do when you get to the chain. So we're going to single crochet into the first three stitches. And I find it easier to turn the chain so I can see those little V's. And then I'm just going to insert my hook into each of those V's and single crochet across, just like I would if it was a foundation chain. So if you'd like to pause your video and place one single crochet into each stitch and chain across, I'll meet you back here when you're ready to do row six. At the end of row five, you should have 28 single crochet stitches. So I just finished my last stitch of row five and I'm going to chain up one and turn my work in preparation to start row six. So for row six, we are going to place one single crochet into each of the first 13 stitches. And this is my 13th single crochet here. And now I'm going to do a single crochet increase into the next stitch. And so that's two single crochets into that same stitch. And now I'm going to place one single crochet into each of the remaining 14 stitches. At the end of this row, you should have 29 single crochet stitches. And now that I've finished row six, I'm going to chain up one and turn my work and I'm ready to start with row seven. So 
So for row seven, I'm going to place one single crochet into each of the first 13 stitches, just like we did in the previous row. All right, there's our 13th stitch. And into the next stitch, we're going to work a single crochet increase. So we're gonna do two single crochets into that next stitch. And now we will place one single crochet into each of the remaining 15 stitches. At the end of row seven, you should have 30 single crochet stitches. And now we are ready to start with row eight. So I'm gonna chain up one and turn my work. And to start this row, we're going to place one single crochet into each of the first four stitches. There's one and four. And now we're going to work a single crochet increase into the next stitch. So there's our first and then our second stitch of our increase. And now this is a pattern that we're going to follow all the way across our row. So that's four single crochets. That's one single crochet into each of the first four stitches. Followed by a single crochet increase. So you're gonna repeat that pattern of four single crochets followed by an increase all the way across your row. And at the end of row eight, you should have 36 single crochets. Now I have just finished with row eight and I'm ready to start with row nine. And to do that, we're going to chain up six before we turn. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to turn our work. So we're going to skip these six chains to start with row nine, and we're going to place a single crochet stitch into the first stitch of the round. So again, we're not working into these chains, we're skipping all of those and we're working into the last stitch of the previous round. And now this skipped six chains will become our second buttonhole. For the rest of row nine, we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch across. At the end of this row, you should have single, uh, 36 single crochets and your chain six space. And now we are ready to start with row 10. And to do that, we're gonna chain up one and turn our work. And for row 10, we're gonna start by placing one single crochet into each of the first five stitches. And now we will do a single crochet increase into the next stitch. And this is our stitch repeat for the rest of the row. We're going to place one single crochet into each of the first five stitches, followed by a single crochet increase. So again, that's one single crochet into each of the next five stitches, followed by an increase. At the end of row 10, you should have 42 single crochets. So I'm just about to uh, finish my last stitch of row 10. And the last, it's an increased stitch. So that means it's the second of the single crochets that will be worked into that stitch. But I'm not going to finish off that stitch completely because I'm seeing in the instructions we need to change to our next color. So that means we're going to leave the two loops on our hook and we're going to grab our second color that we'll be using to create our stripes. So I have my second color here and for the last yarn over of our stitch, we're going to use the new color. So we're going to loop that over the hook and we're gonna pull that through both stitches or both loops there and we're going to finish that stitch with the new color. So that's the end of row 10, and then we're going to chain up one and turn our work, and we're ready to start with row 11. So for row 11, we're going to be working into the back loop only of our stitches. So if you haven't done this before, I find it easier to turn the stitches 
upwards so that way the V's are visible and that they're facing you and it's easy to identify the front and the back loop of your stitches. And so we're going to insert our hook through the top of the V through the center and we're going to pick up that back loop. So we're pushing through the center and out through the back and we're going to yarn over, pull up a loop and we're going to single crochet as normal. Okay, so that's our first single crochet and we're going to do that in every stitch across. So again, we're working into that back loop only and we're going to single crochet. And I'll show you that one more time. In through the middle of the V, out through the back, picking up that back loop and then single crochet. So we're going to do that in each stitch across. So if you'd like to pause your video and do this row of single crochet in the back loop only. At the end of the row you'll have 42 stitches and I will meet you back here when we're ready to do row 12. So I just did my last stitch of row 11 and I'm going to chain up one and turn my work and I'm ready to do row 12. So for row 12 we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch across. There should be no changing in your stitch count. You should still have 42 stitches at the end of the row. Now when you get to the last stitch of the row don't fi don't finish it off with this color. We're going to be changing to the next color. So if you are going to pause the video I'd do that now and do you, this row in one uh, single crochet in each stitch across and I'll meet you back here to show you how to change colors and get ready to start with row 13. So I'm on my last stitch of this row and I'm ready to change colors back to my first color and I'm going to bring in the new color and finish off my stitch in that new color. Um, I would recommend cutting your yarn. Don't do what I'm doing where I'm just leaving it off to the side here. I just do this. It's a designing habit that I've, I do. Just don't do this. <laughs> it's uh, I leave enough tail on both ends when I'm doing this and then I just cut them all and weave them in later just easier for the video. So I'm going to chain up one now that I've changed colors and I'm ready to start with row 13. And for row 13 we're going to do just the same thing that we did in row 11 and we're going to work one single crochet into the back loop of each stitch across. So again we're going in through that top picking up that back loop and single crochet. And we're doing that all the way across. So if you'd like to pause your video and work one single crochet in the back loop of each stitch across, I'll meet you back here when you're ready to start with row 14. So I just finished my last stitch of row 13 and I'm ready to start with row 14. To do that I'm going to chain up one and turn my work. Row 14 is very simple. We're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch across. We're working under both loops. So we're just doing our basic single crochet. If you'd like to pause your video and come back to me when you're about to do the last stitch of this row, we'll be changing colors for the next row. So um, meet me here when you're ready to change your colors in the last stitch of this row. And so I'm just about to do my last stitch of row 14 and I'm going to insert and start my single crochet but I'm not going to finish off with this color. I'm going to grab my second color and I'm going to loop that over the hook and I'm going to pull that through the two loops on my hook already and finishing off that stitch. And now I'm ready to continue on using my new color. For row 15 we're going to chain up one and turn our work. And we're going to be working in the back loops of this whole row and just like we did in previous rows where we created this ridge, we're going to insert our hook into the back loop only and single crochet. And we're going to do that for each stitch across. So if you'd like to pause your video and work across the row one single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch across, I'll meet you back here when we're ready to start row 16. So I just finished my last stitch of row 15 and I'm ready to start with row 16. To do that I'm going to chain up one and turn my work. 
For row 16, we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch across. We're working back under both loops of the stitch. So we're just doing a basic single crochet across in each stitch. So if you could just pause your video and do one row of single crochet, I'll meet you back here when we're ready for the next set of instructions. So I just finished my last stitch of row 16 and at this point we're ready to fasten off our top. So I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to chain up one to secure that and pull the tail through. Okay, and that is our finished top and you can tell that you have the right side facing you because you're going to see these ridges at the bottom of your top. If you're looking at it and you don't see ridges, then you've got to flip it over and to find the right side. So um, you can either take the time now to weave in your ends and, um, or you can do that at the end, but I'm going to show you the next step for uh, finishing the top. So at this point you will, would take your top with the right side facing out and you would fold it in half, ignore my tail, sorry. And you would sew your buttons on the, this side of the top directly across from the chain six space. So that way they, those chain six spaces can act as buttonholes. So you would need your buttons, your sewing thread and your sewing needles for that. And you can either do that now or you can do that after we start on the sleeves. So for our sleeves, we're going to be using the uh, contrasting color. So I'm using the lighter color of yarn for the sleeves. And you're going to have to have your top facing you, or the right side facing you. So again, we want those ridges facing us. And so we're going to take a look at the armhole and we want to try and identify the center point of the armhole on the bottom. Okay. So just like as if it were a person's garment, you want to try and hide the seam under the armpit. So um, when I take a look at this, I hope that you can see it. There's, you can see there's little loops here, which is the um, front loops of those stitches when we worked into the chain spaces. And I can see visually that this stitch here is my center point. So I'm going to attach my yarn into that stitch. And I use a slip, a slip knot. You don't have to do that. That's one of my bad habits. So I have attached my yarn to the center point of the armhole with that slip stitch. And I'm going to work back into that same stitch and place a single crochet. And then I'm going to work along into each of those little loops that were left from that chain space we worked into when we created the arms and place one single crochet into each of those stitches. If you find that that is tricky, you can actually work into the bottom of this stitch. If you find that that's easier, like between the legs of the stitch, the little V there. So now that I've got four stitches, I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to place a single crochet here into that row that's between the top and the bottom of the armhole. And then I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to work into these stitches here. You can clearly see the V's of these stitches and just place one single crochet into each of these across. You'll see I'm working over my tail as I work. I find that easier at the armholes to keep that out of the way. You don't have to do that. And let's see where we at with stitches here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So here's our fourteen. I'm turning my work. I'm going to single crochet into the side, into that row that's kind of in the center between the top and the bottom. And then we've got, cop that yarn, 16, 
17, and 18. And again, I'm just working into those loops back at the bottom of the armhole. When I get to this point, you can't really work any more stitches unless you're cramming them in there. So we're going to stop and we're going to join our last stitch to the first stitch here with the slip stitch. So we're going to insert our hook under both loops, yarn over, pull up a loop. Then we're going to pull that loop through the loop that's on our hook and that is joined. Then at this point, you can cut your yarn. Make sure you leave a tail for weaving in your ends and you can just pull that all the way through. And that is your sleeve. We just did a little short sleeve to give it a little bit of contrast there. And you would repeat these instructions on the other side to complete the other sleeve. And that is it. That's how you make this um, little mini crochet top for a doll. And as I said, I call it the tiered top because it looks tiered here at the bottom. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to this channel. If you like free crochet patterns, please check out my blog, theloopylam.com. Thanks so much for watching friends. Happy hooking and I'll see you next time.